Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I right. have something extra planned today. So if everybody would come sit in the front of the room. Is this Isn't about the festival? Tell us that you're quitting? Yes. It's when she tells you that she's quitting. Well, sort of. Yeah. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like yeah. we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern stop of it. mine as well. I don't really you stop do... it too. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. You guys did great on your poems. What are you talking about? Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We don't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great, no? But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? Yeah, wait, what? P uh, Monica? Yeah. We're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us Yay! is going <laughs> Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. That was bad grammar. But the cool part is we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know what he laughed at. Sayori's putting it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Here it is. Are you kidding me, Monica? I want to say a poster. Didn't... You didn't already start putting up those posters, did you? D did you? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? No. Nope. <laughs> no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Mastering it, girl one shakes her head in fear. Guys! No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple of days ago. It's a lot to ask them to recite their poems out loud for a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. Ugh. But... I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, Finding new horizons and having fun. That's right. Hey. That's right. That, that is right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you in here in the first place? You should turn up the music. I can't even hear it. I know you do. Okay. I'll... Huh, I still can't hear it. Are you not sharing it? I think the answer was yes, I wasn't sharing it. So many different technical difficulties. <laughs> so many techno tech so many so many technical I can hear I can turn it up, turn it up. There we go. And if all it takes is standing Oh I I, I know we all do. Yep. And if all it takes I don't want more people here. I don't want to compete with people for girl too. And if all it takes Let's is just stay this small. 
standing in front of people for two or uh, minutes and reciting a poem. Oh, gee. Then I know you can do it. Ugh. Man. Oh. Girl two and girl one remain silent. She really looks worried. Guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. No, what have you done? I don't think it's too much to ask. I think Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. Mm -hmm. The least we can do is help them out at least a little bit. Well, maybe, but... <sighs> it looks like Girl 2 doesn't have any arguments left. I have two That's fingers new. on my arm and I am very mad. Oh, okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright! Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Oh. Girl one dejectively glanced around at everyone else's expectant face. Uh, sigh. I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> no. Nope. That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, gosh. I don't think you're seriously gonna die up there. Nope. Not at all. You'll be fine, Yuri. But, anyway... Let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No, 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 no way! Monica! This is too sudden. Uh huh. Well, too if sudden. You can't, too sudden. If you can't recite your poems in front of a club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now, let's see. Monica flipped through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. What podium? The title I don't even see a podium. Of this po it, you have to imagine it. The title of this poem yeah. is The Way They Fly. Yep. <laughs> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. You're gonna become an actor when you grow up, aren't you? Maybe. I don't know. Not you, Monica. Oh, but I was talking She's about... on to piano, and she's good at speaking in front of people, piano and she loves is... poems and literature. That doesn't make She's gonna become a stage performer. I don't know, maybe. That'd be cool. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? A supporter. I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. They already look amazed. Girl one has an intense suspicion on her face that I don't even understand. Girl two, we don't want, we'll completely ignore what she's, how she's reacting to it. Yeah, no. No, it said all just... three have their eyes locked on Monica. Yeah. She really looks amazed. Girl one has a strange expression. Girl two. No idea. Well, just skip. Finally. <laughs> Monica will finish you through a citation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica! <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? 
I'll go next. Uh-huh. Yuri is all fired up all of a sudden. No one is likely to see the paper between your hands and stands up. No, I, I think she just wanted to get it over with. Maybe. Or she was inspired Keeping her head by down, America. she walks quietly over to the podium. This poem is called... This poem... Yeah, it's my line. Go on anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's called... After Image of a Crimson Eye. Girl to his boy shakes as he starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort, and why don't we get to hear what her poem is? As girl one gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed in the word books. The quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure. She enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she finished. <laughs> Wait, what? Everyone is stunned. Girl one snaps back into reality and glances oh, around her, guys. as if yep. she bewildered even herself. Yep. Hey, that's what that's what happens to me. that's what happens to me when I do. Uh, I. Speeches. Yeah, you're good. I you're good at speeches. I step up there and I start, and then I feel weird, like like some other voice is coming out of my mouth, and I just feel empowered and passionate, and then. I finished and I go back to my normal self and I slowly, quietly walk up the stage and huh. everyone's like, Whoa, what just happened there? Interesting. That's a really neat thing to happen. <laughs> I... Oh my god, Yuri, talk! Yuri! I'm talking about something. I might be out of the room. Oh, nope. No, I'm not. It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterwards, and we give girl one the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud her. We were so caught up with God that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Gerwin holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. No, it's poetry. You gotta snap. Silly. Silly club members. Gotta give her some snaps. <laughs> Yuri, that was really good. You like them to wait? You don't want them to do it at first? What? I don't know what was discussed. See, like, it actually bothers me a little, slight bit, when there's, like, some highly emotional death scene or something, and then the, like, curtain slowly closes, and everybody starts cheering and clapping. Yeah, that is weird. And um, I actually think, way to ruin the movie, guys. Yeah, honestly. Uh, like, I get it, because it's a performance, and they're like, well, you guys are good at your performance. <laughs> But no, no, it wouldn't. It would be. It would. It wouldn't. The show wouldn't be over. It would be like one of the just like scene would end, and uh -huh. the next scene's gonna be like the fu and the next scene's gonna be like the funeral or something. Oh, yeah. So we had a. And I was like, woo! We had a play at our at my school that. Ended you know what I'm talking about? Awful death. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, wait, wait to ruin the mood, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Uh. Looks like you is down to the count. Okay. I guess I'm next then. 
The only hot spot of the chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one is called My Meadow. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Seriously? It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so <coughs> easily? Ah. Uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror, or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow it feels like a soft voice was made as a perfect match. Why are all of these people just naturally good speakers? I don't know. It seems kind of unfair. Well, maybe he just thinks they're all good. They're not actually. The poem isn't aimed at Sayori like Sayori is. Uh huh. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. Hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gave it a whole new meaning. The whole new world. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poem. It's like I get to reach much... Re it's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Isn't that cool? Art's cool. Mousies and kitties and yeah. bunnies and doggies. <laughs> Our poem is so the deep. Graveyard. And they're bouncing. Yeah, and Something. they're booping. Booping. Are they- it's a ghost- it's a ghost party at a pet cemetery! Oh, Got it. Think about it. Oh, man. It's a graveyard and they're shiny and they're poofing and they're jumping and they're a bunch of little animals at a graveyard, so... Mm-hmm. Pet cemetery party. My god, you've cracked the code. I did it! Good job, Sayori. I'm also <laughs> thinking something. What? If it takes about 30 hours... Uh-huh. ...to play through Danganronpa... Yeah? And that's when you're just reading it quietly... Yeah? And it's super longer when stuff is read out loud... Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, uh... Then... Danganronpa, the, the Let's Player that I watch play Danganronpa, it's like his longest series is, and most famous series is, is huh? Danganronpa, it's like 40 episodes. For the I wasn't one. even thinking about Let's Plays. Oh. I was thinking about the fact that it's like a 30, 40 hour game. Yeah. And that when you do this, say this stuff out loud, it takes much longer. Yeah, uh huh. And somebody tried to convert it into a 13 episode anime. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was stupid of him. And I'm just like... The whole reason I got into Danganronpa... Was... I didn't know, that doesn't seem right somehow. Yeah, it's not. The whole reason I got into it's the game... Like... Danganronpa... <laughs> is because I tried to watch the anime, didn't know anything about the characters, and I wanted to learn more about that world, so I played... So I watched someone play the game. And that's how I got into Let's Plays in the first place. I'm like, oh hey! I don't have to play the games. <laughs> I don't have to be good at games. To get story. <laughs> and also, I don't have these consoles. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere. Even I like it. Yeah. The atmosphere of the poem fits you fairly nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Huh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems with, of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> Next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem Everyone's that challenges cute. 
you a little more. Everyone's cute. Everyone's cute. They're all super cute. Cuties. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? I want to do the pet cemetery party. Hmm. Don't make me go last. Why do I have to go last? I don't know. Why do you have to go last? It's not like I could pair you guys anyway. I might just pull up on bet lower everyone's standards a little bit before I have to do it. Yeah, wait. <laughs> that was an insult. That That's wasn't icky. very nice. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. Read the, read the kitty cemeteries. I just have to go with what I wrote for today. I call it the pet cemetery party. Yep. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Kitty. Dog. Graveyard. Poof. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put every put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. It's pity applause. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Alright, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Going. Uh, excuse me. Girl 2 begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called. It's called. Why are you all looking at me? Because uh... you're presenting. <sighs> anyway, the poem <laughs> is called Jump. 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 Girl jump. 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 Once she starts to study the poem, her sour attitude disappears. A little. A little. <laughs> well, she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. Hooray. It's Girl 2's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I focus on rhythm and rhyme, too, when I used to write poetry. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if she's giving life to the poem. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Girl 2 finishes and everyone applauds again. She hops back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Yes, it was. Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Ah, uh, well... You at least feel better prepared to recite a poem in front of other people. I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case... She has case... in front of me. Mmm, cause she likes you. You won't have to worry about much, much to worry about for the festival. Yep. That said, I want to thank everybody for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making. When is the festival? Yeah, a couple days. I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. When's the festival, guys? Like, I don't know, it's like a couple days. I'm not asking you, I'm asking them. Oh, well, they don't have an answer. But, but then I do. ask you. And you just make up answers. Oh, well. I want to know the actual day. I don't, I don't know. They don't know. I mean, they do know. I, I don't know, I think they're just gonna send me home. Oh. 
I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. You're cute. That's why I'm doing it. Did she just back up? Ah, uh, yeah, totally no, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday is the big day. Well, there you go. It's Monday. Monday. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same as you, Monica. Uh, don't, yeah, I'll do my best to get you it. It was for the sake of the club. For the sake of girl too. For and the sake of Monica. girl too. Then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep! Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. She's not the one I'm in love with. It's you, girl, too. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well. Why? How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Mom, but you don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. <laughs>